don't mind me, you've just caught me in my morning bowl of uh, Minari. It's, uh, it's wonderful. David, look! They're wheels! Wheels? Where are they? Where are they? Minari had its UK premiere on Wednesday at the Glasgow Film Festival, and through one of the very few plus points of this awful pandemic, I was able to attend from the comfort of my own home. My first ever film festival, my first ever UK premiere, and for a film I've been desperate to see for a very long time, having seen Minari top a lot of people's top films of 2020. Minari was written and directed by Lee Isaac Chung, and it stars Stephen Yoon, Yeri Hen, Yoo Jung Yoon, and Will Patton. A Korean family settle in Arkansas in the 1980s in an attempt to farm the land and make a fresh start. Welcome back to Game Over Movie Reviews. My name is Peter and this is my movie review of Minari. So as I said, I've been excited to see Minari for some time now. One of the things I've been trying to work on as a movie reviewer and a film fan in general is how to manage my own expectations of a film. It's something I'm still not great at because my expectations for Minari after hearing buzz from friends, the awards chatter, the outcry after the Golden Globe nomination silliness, my expectations for Minari were huge. Huge! Were those expectations met? So close. So close. As ever, let's start with the good stuff. Performances across the board are phenomenal. I always felt Stephen Newton was one of the better actors in The Walking Dead and felt he was probably maybe a little bit wasted in that role and here he just totally pulls you along on his journey. You ache for Jacob to succeed as a farmer, a father, a husband and you really feel all the little punches when things don't quite go to plan. Yeri Han is also excellent as Monica. I didn't feel quite as much empathy for this character but you do feel her frustrations and her struggles in a situation that she doesn't really want to be part of. The two absolute stars of the show, though, are Alan Kim as Monica and Jacob's son, David, and Yoo Jung Yoon as the grandma. This is Alan Kim's debut, and I don't know where these casting agents keep getting these kid actors from, because Kim is absolutely wonderful. The grandma is such a brilliant character. And when she's introduced into the family, I thought, oh, here we go. The grandma is going to pull the family together with her warmth and wisdom. Nope, that's not what happens. <laughs> This grandma does not give a shit. She's straight talking, wisecracking and makes little effort to ingratiate herself with the rest of the family. This creates a rift between her and David because he feels that she's not a proper grandma. She doesn't bake and do normal grandma stuff. The way their relationship ebbs and flows is the real heart of this film and it's an absolute joy to watch. It's also laugh out loud funny at times. There's a particular scene with a drink, which I won't spoil, but it was absolutely hilarious and quite unexpected. The cinematography from Lachlan Milne is really subtle and non-showy and it really draws the viewer into this world. There are a few moments when the camera switches to handheld and we drop to the ground level and it really does feel like we're sitting with the characters and watching firsthand how they're coping. The story is very slight but also very inspirational. As a parent do you just do your job and keep your head down and keep going or do you push for your dream and risk that equilibrium? I totally related to Jacob's story and I was willing him to succeed throughout. Finally, the score by Emil Masseri was a real standout of Minari. I absolutely loved it. It has a kind of Wild West saloon piano vibe with Asian influences. It's like nothing I've ever heard before, Asian-infused Americana, and it really goes with the visuals of the film. If you've been lucky enough to see Minari, what did you think of it? And if you haven't, are you planning to? And if you're attending the Glasgow Film Festival... What other films are you excited to see? I have four more films lined up to see at the festival. The documentary Castro Spies, which I actually watched last night, which was interesting and very well put together. The sci-fi drama Under Gods, Mads Mikkelsen in the black comedy Riders of Justice, and the action horror Vicious Fun. If any of those sound interesting to you and you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you like this video, please like this video. So to the not so good stuff about Minari. I found Monica's character just a little bit too hard-nosed at times and I felt she was overly harsh on Jacob. 
This is a bit of a personal gripe because I found Yerry Hen's performance excellent. The writing of the character was solid. I just felt sometimes there was a bit of a disconnect between Monica's response to what Jacob was trying to do. I really wanted to root for both these characters, but I did find myself leaning a little bit more towards Jacob's story. I thought Will Patton's character was a little bit too much at times. He was a little bit over the top and came across as nearly caricature at times. And probably my biggest issue with Minari is... I don't know if Jacob and Monica change a great deal throughout this film. This seeming lack of a pronounced arc for these characters makes some of the drama a little bit less powerful. I can't go into too much detail, but there's a scene towards the end of the film with quite a bit of drama, and you never really tell if it's affected the characters afterwards. It could have been kind of a, a big pivotal moment in the story in the character arc, but you don't find out if it's changed them afterwards. But honestly, these are nitpicks and personal views. In summary, Minari is just a lovely film, beautifully shot and acted, and I really enjoyed spending time with this family. It's that kind of two-hour film experience that just bathes you in warmth and makes you feel good afterwards. Although some very minor quibbles hold it back from absolute greatness, this will undoubtedly be near the very top when I look back at all the films I'll watch over 2021. My score for Minari is 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>